Well, a soft stick bait or Senko style bait may just be the best soft plastic in the bass fishing world, but there are so many of them. And wait till you see what they actually do underwater. I think you're gonna be surprised. Well, I bought every five inch stick bait or close to five inch stick bait that I could find on the market for two reasons. One, I was curious to see which one has the best action out there. And two, I wanted to share with you all of the bass anglers out there what I found during this test. Now I'm using the Yamamoto Senko, the original Senko as the gold standard, as my measuring stick for this test. It has great action when it is rigged weightless and that is what I've used as my basis for everything else. Now I tested 21 different soft stick baits that were out there on the market. There are just so many of them. And I know that there are vendors out there that make these stick baits for multiple manufacturers. So odds are some of these are the same, just with different packaging. First, I measured each lure and then weighed it on a postal scale. And the Yamamoto Senko came in at three tenths of an ounce. And I found it super interesting that 12 other lures or 13 of the 21 all came in at that three tenths of an ounce as well. So it makes you think when different manufacturers we're trying to duplicate this very popular Senko that they really did their homework. The lightest of the bunch was the Chomper Salty Sinker. It came in at two tenths of an ounce and the heaviest was the Yamamoto Fat Senko which came in at a whopping half ounce. Now before I get farther into the test I do have a PDF file of all all of this information documented for you you can go ahead and follow the link below and i will email that to you for those of you that are members of my bass behavior site i'm going to email this to you automatically so no further actions required on your part the next thing that i did was the durability test how easily do they tear and the reason being is we know that that senko has great action but as a lot of you know it doesn't seem to be the most durable lure out there on the market so i took some photos of the setup so here's what i've got right here and shout out to john from florida from for helping me figure this out and get this set up. So the first thing I did was took this postal scale, set, set it across a couple cross beams, and then I have got an action camera that is viewing the postal scale so I can see exactly when each of these lures rip. Then I took an angle iron, put it across the scale, rigged it down to a small bucket that has a wacky hook on it, and I took each stick bait and I clamped it to this threaded rod and then placed the hook into the center of it and then I would slowly add water to try to figure out the pounds of force that it took to get each lure to rip. And I know there's a million other variables here, but I tried to do this as consistently as I could to get an idea of what's going on with lure durability. Now the original Senko ripped at one pound, 5.3 ounces of downward pressure. The Perfection Lures Dudley's Wacky tore the easiest at 13.5 ounces of pressure, followed by the Sixth Sense Clout, which tore at exactly one pound of pressure. And on the other end of the spectrum, the Chomper Salty Sinker withstood a whopping two pounds, 6.9 ounces of pressure before it tore. And then of course, the Elastec lures just would stretch and stretch and stretch and I never could get them to break. And along with the Lunker Hunt Wacky Stick, it would just keep stretching as well. Now here is where things get really interesting. This is where I tested each lure and their action rigged weightless. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you something really interesting on how to get more action out of whatever lure that you're using. Now, just to give you the rating scale that I used, here is the original Senko. So we can see it dropping through the water column, rigged weightless, has terrific action. Take note of the amount of action, but also how quick or the intensity or how fast the action is as well. So this is what I use to set the bar and this would have a rating of three or the most action was a rating three. If I gave a lure a rating of one, it had no action whatsoever. And of course, then a two would be somewhere in the middle. Now I'm just gonna highlight a few things here for those of you that wanna get through this video quickly, but if you wanna see all 21 lures rigged weightless, I do have all of that footage at the end of this video, but let's get started. 
So here is what some of the one ratings looked like. So this is the Gambler Ace. And as you can see, there is no shimmy whatsoever. It just falls horizontal through the water column. And on some days, this may be exactly what the bass want, but I was looking for the amount of action. This one did not have any. Here's another one. This is the Zoom Zlinky. Once again, no shimmy at all as it drops through the water column. So this is what a rating of a one looks like. And like I said, I have footage of all of the lures rig weightless at the end if you want to see them all. Now, here are the lures that had the best action when rigged weightless. And out of all 21 of them, including the original Senko, there's only three. So there were only two others besides the Senko that I felt had really good action when rigged weightless on the fall. The first one is the Berkeley General. This received a three rating. Now it wasn't as consistent as the Senko, but it still had a lot of moments of some really nice action to it. The other one that received a rating of three when rigged weightless was the Sixth Sense Clout. Now its action is not as fast or intense as the Senko, but it still has a really nice action rigged weightless falling through the water column. Now here is the part that I think a lot of us as anglers overlook or don't think about as much as we should is whenever we think of a wacky rig the term weightless is the first thing that pops into our mind and for good reason because the first one the Senko is great rig weightless looks amazing. But so many of these 21 lures had no action to them whatsoever but because we're always thinking about rigging weightless that's what we go ahead and do. But if you do something as simple as add a little weighted wacky rig hook. So this one here is by VMC. It's a weighted hook for wacky rigs. That's an eighth of an ounce. I could add this to any stick bait, even those that had a rating of a one and it made a tremendous difference. Here's that gambler ace again. Here's what it looks like with no weight. And here's what it looks like when we have this eighth ounce wacky rig hook on it look at the difference the action is incredible and it still has a nice slow fall to it but if you want a slower fall you can get this uh, hook in a 16th ounce as well now let's go back to that zoom slinky so here's what it looks like with no weight weightless and here's what it looks like with this eighth ounce weight once again it looks terrific i could put this on any stick bait no matter what its rating was they look tremendous on the drop i have links to all of these lures and the jig heads down below if you want to take a look at them so as anglers we definitely need to keep in mind we probably need to have not only our weightless hooks but a few weighted ones as well so we get the action that we think is actually happening when we picture a wacky rig falling. Okay, so here's the part of the video where I'm just gonna go ahead and string together all of the weightless footage that I did, put the labels up there in the top, what the lure is, what the rating is I gave it, so you can go ahead and check them out.
And hey, if you wanna watch a video that talks about how bass learn and what they actually do learn, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.